Everybody happy? Friday night, it is National Haunted House Day. We're down an international drive behind me. The Orlando Flyer, over to this way. The Orlando Eye, Coca-Cola Eye, uh, giant Ferris wheel. In any event, uh, we came over this way so we can eat something, go to Chewy's, our favorite place. And now, just a little bit down the road, we're heading over to the Orlando Forum for the brand new haunted house experience, the Tunnel of the Damned. So we parked, we're gonna head up to the ticket booth. It's kind of weird. Online, you can buy tickets for just a dinner show plus the haunt. We don't wanna do the dinner show portion, we just wanna do the haunt. And they say tickets available at the door, so we're hoping that they're available. And when I speak of the dinner show, they do have like a five course meal uh, with a, like a mock seance that takes place. But the pricing for that is somewhere in like the 87 or close to 90 buck range for the dinner and the haunt, which is uh, way past my price range. This is a view from the cheap seats and sometimes we get moderate, <laughs> but that's like view from the stupid expensive seats. <laughs> This is what we're looking at here on the outside. Spooky barrels. They're spooky. We've made our way here. And it doesn't sound like that would be popcorn inside. There's a little bit of a wait. And if you just want to do the haunted house portion or the haunted tunnel, you can either pay for one time through, which was $19 tonight, or you can get like an unlimited Deal, which we did for $26 so you can go through multiple times. My understanding of the haunt is that this is kind of like the Lincoln Tunnel during a zombie apocalypse. The cool thing about this haunt is that while the haunt inside doesn't change, the story changes I think every 10 days. So there's a part one, a part two, and a part three. I'm not hey, quite sure what part we're getting tonight here. Oh, you can't speak. So when you there went is, to the box office, did you just say? Um, a very kind Drill sergeant. Just did this. Hey, she, that's what happened. Okay. Okay. Well, Running down the uh, guests in line. Off. Now this haunt experience is brought to you by oh, Patrick Broward and Kim so Brummel. Uh, hey. Legendary Halloween Horror well, Nights uh, entertainment room. creative Thanks design. Um, they basically put this whole thing together in about um, two months or less. So. Gotta be good. So we're waiting to go in, but this with the line and distancing, it's a mess. So we just finished our first run through Tunnel of the Damned. Uh, first thoughts, set design is really cool. It's very, very short. We're gonna go through again. The entire time he's a very, very wise man. He's the best to save your life. Lieutenant, come in, sir. Come in, sir! Thank you, Sergeant! Thank you, sir. As many of you are well aware, the island formerly known as New York City went dark with the mass six months ago. No bombardment from the air, nor land, nor sea has been successful in penetrating the darkness that now surrounds much of what was once known as the city. I do not know what you will find inside, but whatever it is, it is unnatural. From here, you will proceed to the expanse. You will enter the expanse, and you will not stop moving until you find your way out.
I said I was two times through. Time to enjoy a beverage. No Miller Lite, so we go with the runner-ups. All right, so we're done with the Tunnel of the Damned. Uh, we went through three times. Yes. Um, aside from the operations uh, when we first got here and things were really bunched up and people not knowing where to go to buy tickets and not people where... not knowing where to stand and all of that good stuff, um, the, it's now a quarter to ten. I think the crowd's really kind of um, shifted downward, so we were able to just kind of loop it uh, with the... the tickets that you buy. So the regular ticket price I think was $19. If I'm wrong I'll put a note down below. Uh, but these were um, $26 to go around as much as you want. I don't know um, price value wise if it's worth $19 bucks to go through. Um, the other pieces you also could, would get that included in your dinner package price if you paid for the seance dinner. Um, I've yet to see anybody, um, at least that I know, that said that they went through the seance dinner um, although I've heard uh, anecdotal feedback from some of the folks working the event that they said it was super scary. Um, but uh, $87 is a lot of money for a dinner show considering um, the c comparable dinner shows that they offer in the area, you know, like Medieval mm -hmm. Times and things like that. So yeah. um, in any event, I think the, the haunt is really good. It's very short. So very short. Um, probably well less done. than two minutes, two yeah. and a half minutes to the walk through. The sets are amazing yeah, to walk through. If you are, it's from, basically like Halloween Horror Night sets. Yeah, if you are from New York, it's actually really cool to walk through some of the sets because you're like, woo, you feel like you're back there. Yeah. But it's so quick. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's very quick. It's kind of like a snack, snack size yeah. spot. Um, but. Um, this is still week one of the event, and if I didn't mention at the beginning of the event, they're doing um, this story in three stages. So I think it's like every ten oh, days. Oh, I didn't know. You know. At first, it's like basically when the apocalypse hits uh, New York, and then it's the the next story, like the phase three and the final phase of uh, the story. The sets, mm -hmm. I don't believe, are changing at all. I think it's the, and the, the actors, but there is a movie before. You go in, or a little precursor that I think that that story will Sets change through yeah. the, the event. So, um, you know, there's no Halloween Horror Nights. Um, there are a bunch of local haunts that, um, you know, they're kind of mom and popish. This is a little bit more slick of a yeah. of a haunt. It just uh, was done, and I think in a, a pretty short period of time, and it's a very limited space to work in. So. Mm -hmm. But the set design was really good. It's well done. The actors were great. It was full of actors. In, oh yeah. In hawk too. And every every turn, there's yeah. someone there. You know. And <laughs> you go, you're pulsed. So it's only your group that's going yes. through. And we did see people that were leaving um, the exit that literally ran across the parking lot because they were scared <laughs> from the final thing. The third time that we went through, unfortunately, we didn't film that time, um, and they had like an extra effect towards the end. Yes, and, that uh, was really, yeah. really awesome. And I love that better than the other two runs. Yeah, some of the actors were in different places also. Yes. Um, there is a bar here, so if you wanted to um, go a couple times like we did, and then take a break and have a beverage, you can certainly do that too. And mm -hmm. Anyway, Friday night, it was a good time out, I drive. Um, you know, Beautiful night out. Yeah, set a dinner and a movie. It's a haunt and, and, uh, haunt and a drink. Di dinner and a <laughs> dinner and a haunt and a drink. But uh, in any event, um, that's it. We will be back at it at a different haunt tomorrow night. Um, we'll be doing something else, kind of funny, spooky stuff tomorrow afternoon also. And um, other than that, uh, we've got more Halloween goodness coming. So and we've got another world shirt on. Perhaps we'll be making a return trip to Atlanta, Georgia soon. Maybe. <laughs> but uh, anyway, thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys. Subscribe to the Cheap Seats, where he's going to kill me.